On April 23, 1910, American President Theodore Roosevelt delivered a speech in Paris to the people of France. Through this speech, he told stories of his own history, the responsibilities of citizens, and how to make the world a better place. He addressed the tendency for cynicism to become the loudest voice in a room, and how it tries to dissuade many people from achieving great things. The speech, titled Citizenship in a Republic, became one of the most widely quoted speeches in the world, and primarily delivered an impassioned and inspired message about resilience and grit. So today I want to share with you my favorite part of this speech, which is called The Man in the Arena. I honestly turn to this little piece quite frequently, especially as a creative entrepreneur where most days can feel quite lonely as you're pursuing things that many people don't necessarily understand or generally skeptical about. This can get pretty hard, especially if doubt starts to creep into your own mind and you begin to question the reason why you're even doing the things that you're doing. So. With that said, this is an excerpt from Citizenship in a Republic called The Man in the Arena. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes up short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds? Who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions? Who spends himself in a worthy cause? Who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement? And who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly? So that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. I get chills just reading this, but look at how simple and powerful it is. It kind of makes you think a little differently about the courage that it takes to pursue something that you actually believe in, right? And for anyone who's doing something unorthodox, or perhaps even for myself so that I can look back on this later, this speech is about having faith in yourself that whatever you're doing, or whatever you're striving for, is something that you are brave enough to go for, and you should be proud of that. It pretty much doesn't matter what the critics think because even though some of them might mean well, they will also never know what it's like to be the man or the woman in the arena who dares to take a chance on themselves in order to make a difference and know the feeling of high achievement and bitter loss. I mean, at least in my case, the regrets of never having tried something would weigh on me much more than experiencing its failure or loss. But that's just me. So every time you question what you're doing, why you're doing it, wonder what people think, or anything else like that, reread The Man in the Arena from Teddy Roosevelt, just as I do. I think it just might help you. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video with somebody who you think needs to see it. Hopefully it might help them. And don't forget to subscribe with that notification bell down below to get notified whenever a new video comes out from me. Until next time, see ya.